Hi, I'm Jordan Sayre Dagger Spray Drones, and today we're here in Central Missouri Spring, right of ways and easements. A lot of utility providers, whether they are municipalities or cooperatives, had trouble with brush coming up into their easements, which can block them from getting in. And today we're going to show you how the drone can be used in these easements. So let's go on ahead and let me show you how it's done. Now, as you can see, Tanner right here is spraying the easements. Now, these easements are about 40 foot wide. So here we're doing between 10 to 15 feet per swath. So he's gonna go down about one to three times along there, making sure he gets the full coverage. Now, with this specific co-op, they wanna be sure to spray the sides as well. So we're going through and trying to hit up those sides as far as we can for the growth. Now, we're flying it manually. So what does that mean? Well, Tanner needs to be sure the height stays the same. He needs to also watch that the um, distance apart well. He needs to be sure too that's following the terrain the proper way. Now this here is pretty flat, but in some of these areas you're gonna have a lot of dips, a lot of highs and lows. So keeping that good terrain following is very crucial when doing this. So as you can see here, the drone saves on a lot of labor. So what will typically happen is people will be going through and spraying these drones with backpacks. And you'll have a crew of multiple people walking all along this field spraying as they see weeds or just as a blanket coverage in general. And they'd even have a side-by-side -side going through the field and carrying the chemical as they go. This is also a lot safer when it comes to handling chemical. As you can see, the operator is standing way far back to where the chemical's not getting on him and it's keeping him safer in that aspect. So here we're finishing up today. We got our drone loaded, just picked it up and threw it back here. Got everything all strapped down. Um, we're gonna keep you guys updated with our results as we did miles worth of spraying today. So as we said, we come back here in about a month and check on our progress and it, worked out quite well and as we planned. It got the centers very well. They even went up some along some of the edges. Our main goal was to target the woody species so it wouldn't grow up. And also another goal was keeping the native grass here to where it wouldn't be touched or disturbed. And this chemical that we used did do that. Now, again, we recommend this flight to an experienced pilot because as you can see on some of these edges, we had to go spray near it and without obstacle avoidance, you can have more chance to hitting trees. So be mindful of that in every flight you have too. And luckily we have some experienced pilots here at Hager Spray Drones. As we're going along these easements, you'll also see some of the ivy that was on the power lines also got sprayed and killed and um, took care of that problems too. The drone did not have any problems going over the thicker vegetation. As you can see here, a lot of this is taller than me and very thick too. And it's multiple branches and plants just across this whole area that the drone covered and it's still killing to this day. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact Agri Spray Drones. Remember, we're always here to help empower rural America with new opportunities.